seconds, <laughs> something crazy happened. Hey y'all, what's up? <laughs> so today we're going to journal. It's so peaceful. And yeah, yeah. the sun is rising actually behind us, which is really nice. <laughs> yeah, we can't see. my face in sunscreen. So now we're gonna journal, you know, talk about our feelings, talk about the day. Oh! Ooh! Oh. Guessing. It's okay. Bring the water. Bring the water. Yeah, the water. Baby, it's fine. Are you sure? Yeah, it's okay. I'll drink the sand cup. Thank God. <laughs> I'm about to drink the sand cup. Ah, uh, drink the sand cup. So many surfers here. How cool. I wish I could surf. They were here really early too. We got here around like six and they were all here surfing. Wow, the water is actually not as cold as I thought. I wish I could go swimming. There she comes. <laughs> Come on, Sui. Let's go. We're making quinoa bowls. I don't know. Oh, Ooh, Celine with the flick of the wrist. Oh, wow. Oh, that was impressive though. We have quinoa. We have uh, um, <laughs> mushrooms. I was going to say marshmallows. Cucumbers. Celine did this so beautifully. Carrots. Green onion, cilantro. And then she's roasting sweet potatoes and we have salmon. And we're going to put it all together and I'll show you all what it looks like. Celine literally made us a little spreadsheet for our dinner tonight. <laughs> so, so we know how to place it. We're going to put some purposes. We have the sweetness of the sweet potato. And then we have the base, the quinoa, and we have the delicious flavor of the salmon on top, the garlicky mushrooms, and then for extra garnish. Finally eating dinner. Watching Love Island, of course. Um, I just got off work and I'm gonna be stuck in traffic for an hour. And I don't know, I just like got off work and started crying. Like, I don't know why just been like a really hard week and um i don't know sometimes it's hard to stay like positive in life and <sighs> it's hard to like stay motivated and be grateful in life when it just seems like everything is kind of going wrong i don't know i just wanted to record this part just so like i don't know i'm crying i feel like ever since covid hit Celine and i like haven't felt the same <sighs> like mentally and i know we're not like the only one but it just sucks sometimes <laughs> and i don't know i just wanted to vent and just um cry a little bit because you know crying makes me feel better and you know i don't even know if i'm gonna put this in my vlog or not but i don't know i just wanted to record it to show you guys that i feel like i always post my happy moments on social media when a lot of times it's it's me like this. I feel like I always overfeel, overstress. It just been like a really hard week for me. And I think it's just like hitting me now. And I just want to let you guys know, anyone who's listening to this, whatever battles you're facing, you are not alone because life is just so hard right now. Like no one has it easy. Like I don't care. No one has it easy. I know that there's gonna be a bright light at the end of the tunnel, but I just feel like it's so far away. I'm strong. I'm a strong woman, but I just need these times where I just cry and just talk about what's going on in my life. Sometimes that's like a way for me to just let like all my thoughts out. That's pretty much it. I'm going home. I'm already thinking about what I'm gonna eat because I'm so hungry. Guys, <laughs> you guys, that, that's all. I have no idea if I'm even gonna share this or not, but I just wanted to record. Where's my little Luxan? Where is she? Oh, hey, cutie pie. I swear, if there's one thing that keeps me in a happy mood every single day, it's lucky. I mean, look at those beautiful blue eyes. Hello, precious. Did you miss me? Looks like no. <laughs> me and Celine have like a million names for Lucky. The new name for her is Butterbutt. Hey, Butterbutt. Some good news today. Celine made me crunch up. Fire. Fire. Oh, that one burned. No, that looks so good, too. Let's see what it looks like inside. Wow. So there's ground turkey, black beans, tomatoes. tostada, tomatoes, lettuce, mm. sour cream, cheese. Compared to the, the list goes on. I mean, 
I know, literally talk about at home. <laughs> hey, my love bugs. It is exactly one week since my little car breakdown. It is Thursday. I just got off of I just got off of work. I'm about to head uh, to my parents' apartment, have some dinner with them. But yeah, I'm feeling a lot better. <laughs> and it's funny, after I had my whole little breakdown in the car and I ended up getting my period like a few days later. So I was like, okay, that explains everything. You know when you just feel so shitty and you just can't stop crying and then your girl comes and visits you and then it just all makes sense. So, um, <laughs> and I'm also super, super excited because I get to go see my boyfriend this weekend. He is playing baseball in Montana, so I'm going to fly out and um, go see him and watch him play. I'm so freaking excited. So yeah, it's definitely a better week than it was last week. Um, and I'm about to take y'all in with me. I'm going to go see my parents. Hi, Jack. I got you guys treats. Oh my gosh. This is mom's house. Mama, Baba. Oh, my little pigs. Just enjoy it. Don't... Oh my... <laughs> the way Duke eats is so funny. Okay, Jack, my little gentle giant. Come here, Jack. It's Jack's turn. Good boy, Jack. I'm sorry. Today for dinner, mom made us spaghetti with garlic bread, broccoli. Yeah. Homemade wow. spaghetti. Nothing like homemade food. Wow, these broccolis are huge, mom. I know. What the hell? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, Thank you. Wow, this literally looks like water. I know, it's a very light so Yum. Hello, my cuties. I'm back in the car again. What else is new? I feel like I've been in the car this entire vlog, but you know, your girl's busy. Today, I'm currently running errands. I'm currently um, in the parking lot at Target. And I need to get some like last night things for my trip tomorrow. And I just am excited to just get out of um, California and just go on a little trip. So I have my super random list here and these are just things I'm gonna get today on my little errand day. So I need to get a dress or an outfit for a bridal shower that I'm going to for my cousin, not this weekend, but the following weekend. And I'm going to the Bay Area for that with my sister and my mom so i'm really excited so i got two back-to-back -back trips so i'm really excited for that i need to get dry shampoo i'm probably gonna get it from here like a travel size i need to get like clorox wipes or disinfectant wipes i like to bring that when i go traveling just for like the plane or um the hotel room or i don't know i just like to bring like something i can clean <laughs> i need to get some bug spray like bug repellent because I am so allergic to mosquitoes. I don't know what it is. I don't know if I have a certain blood type that mosquitoes are attracted to, but they don't they don't give me a break. I already got five on my leg on Monday and I'm so happy that they're finally gone, but I don't even itch them and they swell up really big. And I already know <laughs> the bugs in Montana are gonna follow me. So I need to get some bug spray. All right, I need to get some sunscreen. I need to get a new one because the original sunscreen that I was using, like for my body, I was using the Neutrogena one, but I heard that they recalled it. So now I have to get a sun bump one. And there's literally someone on the left of me staring in my car and I feel so awkward because I can see her in my peripheral vision. That woman was probably just minding her own business, not even looking at me and I'm over here like hella anxious and shit. <laughs> she probably was not even looking at me. Anyway, I also packed a little snack. I have grapes and cheese. It's a good snack, um, you know, to eat when you're like busy and stuff. I am sweating. I need to get out of this hot car <laughs> and go to Target. I will be back and show y'all what I got. I'm back from Target. I got my things. I was really in quick, quick. So I got my little wet wipes, wet ones. I got a travel lint roller because, you know, I don't know, always good to have in my purse too. Um, this is my favorite mascara ever, ever, ever. And I got the waterproof one. I usually don't use a waterproof one, but I feel like my mascara always like smears underneath and just like on the top of my eyelid. So I wanted to try the waterproof ones. And I also heard that waterproof mascara holds your lash curl better. So I don't know, I'll let you know on that. Travel sunscreen for my body. Dry shampoo because I'm gonna be straightening my hair this weekend and I, my hair gets oily so fast when it's straight. So dry shampoo is a must. And then I got some, <laughs> look at me sweating. And then I got some toothpaste and that was all. That's all my travel stuff from Target. Um, now I'm gonna go to the mall. With my parents, they're looking so cute. Bryson and Celine. Celine, hi cutie. Mama. Okay. Bread cheesecake. And this is my beautiful view. Mm -hmm. 
Wow, we eat it, we eat it, we eat it. Guess what it is? Wow. I know, it's really good. Jeez. No way in hell I'm gonna Good morning, cuties. I have the craziest story to tell you. I didn't have a chance to finish um, recording yesterday from my running errands because something crazy happened to me. And I really wish I recorded it, but there was just so much going on at once. I just like didn't know what to do. Sorry if I'm like too quiet, but it's like 7 a.m. right now. I don't want to be too loud. After the mall, by the way, I didn't find anything at the mall. After the mall, I um, had to go to the bank to get some money. I'm kind of rushing because um, I have to meet my sister and her boyfriend for dinner at seven. So I go to the bank to get like, I'm getting money for my trip and I get out of my car and there's like people waiting in line at the ATM. So I, so I like waited by my car until they were done. And then I start hearing something like an animal crying. And I'm like, is that a cat? <laughs> Especially me, you know, I love my cats. My cat instincts were like, so I start hearing like a little like ew, 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 from really far away. And I was like, what? I just followed it. So I follow the noise and it leads me to a bush. And then I find the tiniest little kitten all alone crying. And I didn't know what to do. I ran to my car to get my water bottle so I can try to give her water or him. I had no idea if it was a girl boy. So freaking tiny, all alone, like under this bush crying for help. And I just didn't, I had to like do something. So I tried to get my water bottle, whatever. Try to give her water, she was not having it. So I was like there for a while and I, I'm like, it's randomly at this bank. <laughs> and I, you just see me like reaching to a bush and there's pe there's like people around me. So this random guy came up to me and he's like, hey, are you okay? Do you need some help? And I was like, there's a kitten here stuck. Um, I'm trying to get her. And I just wanted to get her so I can, I don't know, just take her out of that area because it just looked really unsafe. And there were no other cats around, like her mother wasn't there, or mommy, I, I didn't know what to do. So I just tried to act fast. Anyway, so this guy came over and he was just like telling me that he's been seeing a lot of cats in this area and he thinks that someone is like coming and dropping them off. I don't know. I just, I was like, I need this cat. So he's like, do you have a rag or something? I was like, oh, I have a like random dress in my car. So I ran to my car. <laughs> So he gives me the cat and at this point I really don't know what to do. So I FaceTime my sister and I'm like, Celine, I couldn't just leave her. Like I really, like there was some, I don't know. I feel like everything happens for a reason and I was there for a reason and she was crying and like I randomly heard her and her cries were so small and little and there were so many people around and no one was like listening. And I don't know, I just like, it was just so weird. And she was, she's like a black brown cat with like beautiful gray eyes. So anyways, I took her and I ended up taking her home and she's here with us now. She stayed the night. We got some like um, powder milk formula for her. Found out she's a girl. She was also covered in fleas. So we gave her a few baths last night. And we also gave her um, some flea, like a little bit of flea medication for kittens. So are you guys ready to see how freaking cute she is? Like you guys are not ready for this. You had a good night, didn't you? Didn't you have a good night? <laughs> You're so tiny. You're so tiny. You're so little. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Why is she so tiny? You little itchy? You little flea head? Hey, flea head. Oh my god. You have a little milk beard. We got Luna here with me. Celine is driving. Celine is taking her to my mom's. Oh, my mom's. <laughs> like it's not your mom too to our mom's uh, after she drops me off at the airport and she is just so freaking cute. Oh, oh my. Oh, she's so sleepy. 